do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Oh yeah, that was solemn. <laughs> that I will faithfully. Execute. Okay. Execute my role as an American. As an American. Progressives can never do everything at the I same know. time. And will. And will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And vote. Yeah, and, vote. and vote. And I learned my greatest truth. We get it. People didn't like my candidate. And people, um, but this is not the answer. And I want to really work hard at finding all the, you know, finding out all the reasons why this happened, which many of them we already know, and I think we can do such a better job of using our voices in the right way. You know, we have to be tolerant. That's what, everything in this country is about tolerance. Except differences. And, and we can't, you know, we can't go in a direction that's not headed that way. We have to go forward. You don't go back in history, you go forward. You learn from history. Yeah. You don't make those same mistakes again. And there are so many people to fight for that I'm so motivated. I've never been this motivated about anything except, you know, happy hour. <laughs> the fear is maybe, we, we were all talking about this this morning, is just not normalizing any of this. Like, not normalizing this conversation of denial about climate change or this denial about a woman having a choice to decide what she wants to do with her body. We can't normalize any of the, those kind of conversations. So, you know, I think when she says, you know, we're pumped to keep talking about this stuff, and keep, I, you know, I really, I, I felt it today. I felt it at 6 a.m. when I turned my television on and I saw the entire country marching with us and the entire world, because this is, we're interconnected, man. Like, what happens here is gonna affect everybody everywhere. This is one world. Right.